every single one of you watching this video can study at Harvard, Yale, or even Stanford for free. But obviously there's a catch. Today we're going to talk about MOOCs, Massive Online Open Courses. Now for those of you guys who don't know what these are, there are universities like Harvard, even John Hopkins, and legitimate courses that are taught by professors from these universities online for free for anyone in the world can take them. So let's take Harvard for example. Harvard has almost 136 free courses that you can take right now. You don't need to get admitted, you don't need to fill out any application form or write any of those yuck essays at all. You just kind of sit in the class, listen, learn new stuff and that's pretty much about it. Now with 2020, everything that hit us, these online courses gained a ton of popularity and for some pretty good reason. I mean, imagine sitting on your couch or your dining table, just eating a nice pack of blue lace and you know, taking your online classes from Stanford or John Hopkins and being able to learn all these skills. Honestly, like that's the most productive thing you can do. Now all this sounds really good and all, but if these courses aren't used with the right mindset and the right tactic, they are almost worthless. Now, a lot of these students do these online courses for the sake of a certificate and there are two things that is wrong with this whole mindset. The first thing is, um, while I said that these courses are free, they are, but at the end of the course, some of them may require you to pay a fee to actually get a certification that you completed this course. So that adds a monetary factor to it, just so you guys know. Now, the second thing is, with this beginning mindset that you're doing it for the certificate, students forget what their goal was to begin with. They're just chasing this piece of paper and completing courses, rushing through lectures, completing assignments, not actually paying attention to how these skills, these new skills can be useful to them. And this is where your whole vision is lost. And at the end of the day, you're just doing it for that piece of paper. So this whole mindset is not something that you need to have. When you're taking these courses, your ultimate goal needs to be to learn new skills and then see how you can apply these skills to real life applications. A good example of this is Skillshare. Now one of the classes that they offer is building 10 Python beginner projects by Jude Rajiv or learning Python programming by building projects by Shubham. Now here you can learn the ins and outs of how to use machine learning and artificial intelligence in order to create different apps and software. Now the whole goal here is you can get involved in projects like creating a digital clock or an audiobook from any PDF. Now, obviously these aren't the only projects that you guys need to do, but the goal here is after taking these courses, you can actually use your skills to building some, some substantial projects, even in groups if you guys want to. Now the first 1000 people to use the link in the description below can get access to Skillshare Premium free for one month. So check that out. Now some of these platforms like Coursera and EDX, for example, also offer full fledged degrees um, online, which I'm not really a fan of. And just hear me out. I feel like there's a lot more to the whole college experience in terms of interpersonal skills, you interacting with actual people, than just sitting in class and finishing lectures and assignments. So just that aspect of a college experience being taken away just through a virtual degree just makes no sense to me. Now the second thing is if you're an international student who's doing this whole degree online virtually, you would miss out on your work visas like your OPT and STEM because you haven't physically been present in the US during your undergrad or master's degree. So if you guys stuck around till this point in the video, I want to give you guys a secret tip. Now I've seen a lot of students just take online courses, write the name and the professor of the course as an extracurricular activity in their college application. It's a huge no. A better way to approach this is to complete a course, use those skills that you learn to do an actual project, and then talk about that project in your extracurricular activities. This not only shows that you went out of your way and did that project, but it also shows the admission committee that you have learned something actually sikha hai using that course that you studied. I'll leave the link to all of the Harvard courses in the description below for you guys to check out. So definitely browse through them and let me know which courses you guys are planning to take or have already taken through other platforms but don't forget to sign up to skillshare like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye